Hello, guys, and welcome to another morning English podcast. I'm Day. Hello, 大家好，我是木木，欢迎大家收听今天的早安英文 news. News means information not previously known to someone.、Mm-hmm. Let us say your best friend got engaged, and then someone tells you about it. That is news. And that is a sad news. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But in today's podcast, we just want to you know that what is the difference between good news and bad news, and how do we respond to bad news? 今天呢，就要和大家分享一下，就是当我们听到一些不好的消息的时候，我们如何用英文来做出回应？我们会把今天所举到的例子，还有一些实用的表达放在笔记当中。Now, when we hear the phrase "good news," the first thing that will pop up in our minds is "good." Good. Like you have, you just won a million dollars. That sounds good. 对，就是我们听到一些好消息的时候，我们当时的反应就是，哇、wow, ，good， 非常的好， mm-hmm. 就像是你得了一百万一样啊。That is right, and good news is basically receiving information that will make you happy. 好消息就是让你开心的消息。But bad news,、mm-hmm. as the phrase suggests, is always bad.、Mm-hmm. I mean, even when you say it, it sounds negative. Bad news. Bad news. 一听到这个词，觉得啊，惨了。I can imagine someone being like bad news. <laughs> 就没有人说坏消息的时候会说 oh bad news. Yeah, <laughs> and it just doesn't sound normal. Yeah, as it <laughs> as in common nature to humans, we always like to respond to anything. We are really talkative people, so typically we would respond to bad news. Yeah, but the thing here is, some people would respond to bad news in a negative way. So how should we respond? 对我们如何回应这些坏消息呢 ？Well, the most most common way to respond would be, "Oh, what a pity!" Oh, but sounds so fake.、Mm-hmm. Oh, what a pity!、Oh, that sounds sarcastic. Sha! <laughs> oh, that sucks.、Mm-hmm. 这太糟糕了。或者是 ，Oh, I'm sorry.、Mm-hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, 非常对不起。听到这个消息，我感觉非常的沉痛。But actually, your response depends on the situation. Let us say that first situation is someone cancels dinner plans with you.、Mm. Second situation is、mm-hmm. working overtime on the weekend. Okay. Third situation is losing your cell phone. We would respond. Okay, 刚刚你呃这个带提到的三种情形啊，第一个就是 canceling dinner plans， 就是对方比如说取消了这次和你吃饭的计划。第二个呢就是 working overtime on the weekend， 就周末居然要加班。第三个呢，就是 losing your cell phone， 就是你的手机被偷了。如果对方这么跟你说呢，你会做出如何的回应 ？I think I would say the first one.、Mm-hmm. Oh no, that stinks. <laughs> stinks. Yeah. S T I N K K S.、Mm-hmm. 然后第二个呢，我会说 What a bummer.、Mm-hmm. 第三个我会说 Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Actually, these types of response are classified as informal. And also would see much more lighter bad news、mm-hmm. when we respond with these. But if the bad news happens in a workplace, or you want to console your friend, 对，如果你这样的回应呢，就会使对方可能舒服一点，而不是 always. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah,、I'm、sorry. I'm it just sorry. <laughs> it just seems like lighter bad news. Yeah, like if a friend loses his pet, or gets into a car accident, or even your coworker losing a Big client.、Mm-hmm. This type of bad news is heavier than the one we discussed earlier.、Mm-hmm. 就是还有一种情况，就是可能你的好朋友他的宠物呢，呃，就是去世了， mm-hmm. 或者是他呢遇到了车祸了， mm-hmm. 或者是你的这个 coworker 他就同时丢掉了一个大生意。Oh, so. 那这些呢，比我们刚刚说的都严重的很多。那这种情况，我们如何 respond？ 我们如何回应呢？ I am so sorry to hear that. I'm still like, <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> I got it. You have to sound heavier. I am so sorry to hear that.、Oh, what <laughs> awful news! I am sorry. I am very sorry. That must be awful, or frustrating, or scary, or difficult. Yeah, I think the best thing is the best way is you stand on the other people's 
position. Exactly. To think about it. Exactly. 就站在对方的角度去想问题，就会说哦， oh, 这听上去太糟糕了。I'm very sorry. 那一定很糟糕吧？ That must be awful. Must be frustrating.、Mm-hmm. 就是太令人沮丧了，或者是太 difficult 了。那对方就觉得哦， oh, 你真的 know me. Yeah, exactly. So when dealing with bad news, we should always be apologetic to other people. 就是好像是 so we often say sorry. Yeah, because the person telling you the news isn't looking for someone to laugh at him or her. That person is looking for support because he or she just received bad news. 对，当我们听到一些坏消息的时候呢 ，bad news， 我们不要笑对方，也不要讽刺对方。Don't be sarcastic at this time. So what you need to do is comfort. Yeah, comfort that person. Support、exactly. the other person. 就是给对方支持，并且安慰对方。我觉得这才是对方所需要的。Now let's do a small recap to、mm. just remember what we just said.、Mm. Bad news has has two types. We have the informal type and we have the formal type. The responses. So the formal types 就是通常情况下别人告诉你一个坏消息，我们应该如何回应呢？比如说 ，I'm so sorry to hear that.、Mm-hmm. 哦，听到这个消息很悲伤，觉得很为你感到呃。不开心。Mm-hmm. 然后第二个呢，就是 What awful news! I'm sorry.、Mm-hmm. 这个消息真是太糟了。那么第三个呢，就是 I'm very sorry. That must be awful. That must be frustrating. That must be scary. That must be difficult.、Mm-hmm. 站在对方的角度来想。What if it was a lighter bad news? Like let's say someone cancelled dinner, or someone is working overtime on weekends, or you lost your cell phone and someone wants to respond to you. We would say, "Oh no, that stinks!、Mm. What a bummer!" Oh, I'm sorry. I like that one. What a bummer! So, bummer. What does it mean actually? Bummer is like 糟糕 Oh, bummer. It 本身的意思就表示糟糕 What a bummer! 就是啊，太糟糕了吧 Yeah, exactly. 糟糕 Exactly. 嗯、mm. So, thank you guys so much for listening to our, our podcast today. I hope you learned a lot. And I wish everybody can have good news every day,、yeah. but it never happened. Yeah, I think life is with good news and bad news. Yeah, life is like that. You have to get used to it. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 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 Morning 如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。So so much for today's podcast。我是 Dave， 我是木木，下次再见，拜拜。